Section two of a book of nonsense by Edward Lear. There was an old person of Cadiz who was always polite to all ladies, but in handing his daughter he fell into the water, which drowned that old person of Cadiz. There was an old man of the isles whose face was pervaded with smiles. He sang high dum diddle and played on the fiddle that amiable man of the isles. There was an old person of Basing whose presence of mind was amazing. He purchased a steed which he rode at full speed and escaped from the people of Basing. There was an old man who supposed that the street door was partially closed, but some very large rats ate his coats and his hats while that futile old gentleman dozed. There was an old person whose habits induced him to feed upon rabbits. When he'd eaten eighteen he turned perfectly green, upon which he relinquished those habits. There was an old man of the West who wore a pale plum-colored vest. When they said, Does it fit? he replied, Not a bit that uneasy old man of the West. There was an old man of Marseilles, whose daughters wore bottle-green veils. They caught several fish which they put in a dish and sent to their pa at Marseilles. There was an old man of Rican, whose shoes made a horrible creaking. But they said, Tell us whether your shoes are of leather, or of what, you old man of Rican? There was a young lady whose nose was so long that it reached to her toes. So she hired an old lady whose conduct was steady to carry that wonderful nose. There was a young lady of Norway who casually sat in a doorway. When the door squeezed her flat she exclaimed, What of that, this courageous young lady of Norway? There was an old man of Apulia whose conduct was very peculiar. He fed twenty sons upon nothing but buns, that whimsical man of Apulia. There was an old man of Quebec. A beetle ran over his neck, but he cried, With a needle I'll slay you, O beetle, that angry old man of Quebec. There was a young lady of Butte, who played on a silver gilt flute, she played several jigs to her uncle's white pigs, that amusing young lady of Butte. There was an old person of Filey whose conduct was scrubious and wily. He rushed up a palm when the weather was calm and observed all the ruins of Filey. There was an old man with a poker who painted his face with red ochre. When they said, You're a guy, he made no reply, but knocked them all down with his poker. There was an old person of Prague who was suddenly seized with the plague, but they gave him some butter which caused him to mutter, and cured that old person of Prague. There was an old man of Peru who watched his wife making stew but once, by mistake, in a stove she did bake, that unfortunate man of Peru. There was an old man of the north who fell into a basin of broth, but a laudable cook fished him out with a hook, which saved that old man of the north. There was an old person of Troy whose drink was warm brandy and soy which he took with a spoon, by the light of the moon, in sight of the city of Troy. There was an old person of mold who shrank from sensations of cold, so he purchased some muffs, some furs, and some fluffs, and wrapped himself well from the cold. There was an old person of Tring who embellished his nose with a ring. He gazed at the moon every evening in June, that ecstatic old person of train. There was an old man of Nepal 
from his horse had a terrible fall but though split quite in two with some very strong glue they mended that man of nepal